Walter came to us uh, October 18th. He was rescued in Tofino. He was in very, very poor condition. Uh, he was acting very abnormally. He was assessed by, by us in Department of Fisheries and Oceans, and uh, it was decided that he was an animal that, that did need treatment. So he was rescued by our staff from the Marine Mammal Rescue Center and uh, brought to Vancouver Aquarium's Marine Mammal Rescue Center for assessment. And uh, we found out uh, quite quickly that, well, of course he was in, in very poor, poor condition, but that he'd been shot and shot with a shotgun. Uh, he had quite a number of pellets scattered throughout his body, uh, mostly around his head and shoulder, um, but it had also affected his hind flipper. Uh, the resulting injuries um, caused blindness, so he is permanently blind. Uh, caused a very ser serious uh, degree of dental injury, and we had a de dental specialist come in and, and perform a root canal to save one tooth, as, as well as perform a number of ex extractions to help him with that. Um, he also required several procedures to uh, remove two of his toes on his hind flipper and to help his hind flipper to heal. Um, he's been an incredible challenge. Um, again, he just came in in very, very, very poor condition. Um, very uh, critical and really mostly due to our staff and volunteers at the Green Mammal Rescue Center who were on him 24 hours a day for weeks and weeks. Um, he has come back and I, I'd say impressively so and he, today he's doing great. The, the process of the integration into the introduction to the other animals is, is one we really can't put a timeline on because it, it's really up to, to Walter how well he does, um, how well he interacts with us, what, to, what things he learns. Um, ensuring that we don't have to uh, step in to do anything that, that may impact an introduction when it occurs. We also know the uh, more likely uh, the two females that we have, Tanu and Katmai, we know their different personalities, their energy levels, and so getting to know all those animals and determine which animal would be the best one to introduce them to um, is going to be an important factor. Um, because he's blind, he's an animal that is not likely to do very well in the wild at all. Um, so that's why he's been transferred to the Vancouver Aquarium today, which is exciting for us. This is a great place for him. We've got great staff, a great facility. Um, we've got other sea otters. We've got a long history of dealing with uh, sea otters um, that have come from rehabilitation programs. Um, uh, and Walter, in particular, is a great story. You know, he's a, an animal that has suffered a lot um, because of, of the actions of humans. Um, he's also an animal that's been given a, a, second, a, a second chance because of, of humans. So it's kind of a, a neat thing to see him come back from being such a, uh, you know, such a critical case and in, in such poor shape to an animal that's happy and healthy and able to forage here, uh, at least with the help of, of humans anyway. And I hope he's going to go on and uh, live a, a very happy life uh, for, for the rest of his days.